Well, Coach, 1-1. One, one. Yeah, it's a best of three series, not a best of one series. And so that's what I told the team to have them relax. That, you know, we, we, we still have uh, the opportunity to uh, decide this thing and not have to have help from anybody else. It, it, we, it can be done by us. And, yeah, we made some adjustments uh, in, in the, the, the yesterday and, and finalized them today. Uh, and they they work good, and we had to make one more adjustment in the in the halftime uh, to get Mayfield under control, and I think we did a pretty good job of that as well. As we see, the, as you see the game and compare it with the last one, there was more energy, there was more intensity, there was there was more team spirit. It worked. Yeah, um, like like I I said before, I, I I don't ever have any problem with these guys' intensity, but it's it's a lot in the in the execution. But where what we didn't do enough of in the um, in the first game was keep our tempo up at, at a high level, and we did more of that tonight. And we we create a lot of points for ourselves in those kinds of situations, and you know get some easy baskets and things like that. And um, we did a lot better job of it tonight. Yeah. One of the main reasons, probably, of the, uh, also the experience of Damian Rudez, especially at the beginning of the game. He, he, he took the lead and, uh, well, uh, uh, let them follow us. Yeah, um, he, he's, he's been really, really vocal uh, uh, lately in practices and, and um, bringing in his ideas when, when we're walking through things and, uh, and, and taking over more in the game, just like we've seen in the last couple of games. It started in the second half of the last game, and uh, I've just been waiting for it for the whole time. And... You know, I he, he's been putting a lot of pressure on himself. Uh, you know, because he 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 knows that everybody expects a lot of him, or at least hopes. You know, and and I said, look, Damian, the only thing you have to do is that what you do best, and that's play basketball. That's that's all you have to do. You don't you don't have to think about anything. You just you know, so so it's an easy situation for you actually if you think about it. And yeah, you know, he's taken that to heart, I think, and and uh, really given us some some good, great minutes out there. Willem Brandwijk, uh, coach P. Miller zei dat uh, vanmorgen bleek dus dat uh, James geblesseerd was en dat jij de backup was van uh, van Thomas. Uh, wat denkt Willem Brandwijk dan als hij dat hoort? Uh, ja, dat uh, vind ik natuurlijk een hele eer. Het zijn de oudere ervaren jongens en als die dan uh, positief over je spreken en denken dat ik die rol mooi kan invullen, dan uh, daar ben ik er heel blij mee. En uh, wel mag we best wel trots zijn op wat er gebeurde vanavond, even los van het feit dat we wonnen. Maar het zag er gewoon weer lekker sprankelend en energiek uit. Ja, klopt. Ja, ik denk uh, dat, dat, uh, voornamelijk, uh, dat we daar de defense aan te danken hebben. Uh, we waren gewoon uh, ja, erg goed voorbereid op wat hun uh, zouden doen en aanpassingen gemaakt van vorige wedstrijd. En uh, dat ging goed, een aantal stops achter elkaar en dan uh, translate dat heel mooi naar de offense en dat uh, creëert, creëert energie voor ons allemaal. Ik heb er niet zoveel verstand van, maar vooral die pick and roll situatie van de afgelopen wedstrijd. Hoe je dat nu benadert, dat was volgens mij duidelijk anders. Ja, klopt. We waren wat agressiever dan de afgelopen wedstrijd. En uh, ja, daardoor konden hun minder goed in hun comfortzone komen. En uh, ja, vorige game hadden ze volgens mij drie, drie van hun spelers die hebben dan 20 plus punten. En uh, ja, nu, uh, nu hadden die jongens aanzienlijk minder punten of uh, veel slechte schotpercentage. En dat is dan ons doel. 1-1, nou moet het gebeuren in Den Bosch. Dat is het nadeel van uh, alle corona-ellende, dat het nou maar een best of three is. Ja, ja dat is, dan moet het gewoon, hè? Ja, klopt. Het is uh, nu do of uh, voor ons beiden. En dat, uh, dat zal een extra leuke wedstrijd opleveren, maar wij zijn er klaar voor. Ja, maar dat is het leuke, een do or die. Vandaag was het alleen voor ons was dat zo, maar nu is het voor hun ook zo. Ja, klopt. Ja, en als, uh, als uh, topsporter dan, uh, dan leef je voor dit soort wedstrijden. Well, Damian, did we see the real Damian today? Ah oh, well, it's hard to say. I mean, uh, you know, I'm very happy with the way I played today, and uh, uh, it was a team effort. Uh, the most important thing is that we had a victory. I was happy with the way I came out, and I really have to thank uh, all of my teammates for believing in me, for feeding me the ball, and of course for the coaching staff for giving me trust. Coach Miller said about you in press conference and later uh, before on uh, Donut TV. I told Damian, just think about basketball, just play basketball, do the thing you do do, do best. Yeah, well, I mean, I'm not going to lie. Obviously, you know, this season has uh, worn me down a little mentally and it was very hard emotionally for me, uh, you know, considering the situation with my brother and that's not something that, uh, you know, needs to be talked about a lot. Uh, but it's obviously something that happened and uh, I needed some time to find peace in my head and uh, to find my good rhythm and I really have all the people around me to thank for that because they kept me in a, 
uh, in a very good spirit. And, you know, today I really felt like uh, it was not a time to overthink anything. It was just time to, to work and to, uh, you know, go to action. And luckily I had some shots that went in early in the game and uh, found good rhythm and it reflected well on the whole team. Today was a do or die for Donar. Now on Thursday it's a do or die for both teams. Yeah, of course. That's the fun part about playoffs. You know, all we needed was to get a, give ourselves a fighting chance. Uh, we felt like we deserve it. We felt like it wouldn't be right uh, for them to beat us 2-0. Uh, like we're a better team than that. And, uh, you know, maybe it made the best team win on Thursday. Most important part of the statistics after this game was the rebounds of Mr. Caruso. Yeah, I mean, as I was just telling these guys, um, our big guys do a really good job of boxing out. Uh, you know, Van Amars, he crashes the boards every time. And... I just try to do my part, come in, grab the boards because they're boxing out hard and that's what's asked of me from this team and that's what I'm going for. Man, the way you're jumping, we're almost the same height, but uh, you, you, you jump like three meters. Yeah, I mean, that's, I, I don't know, I work hard at Olympics it. Olympics are coming, so well, <laughs> maybe get the high jump, but no, it, um, it was a really good win for us. I think just top down, really good team effort and just loved our team's energy, especially on the defensive end. And the rebounding, we cut out a lot of second chance points that they got in the mass sport in game one. And I think that really led to our success. Probably that's one of the main reasons that energy in rebounding that, that wins games, of course. So now going on to Thursday, it's, it's, it's all or nothing for both teams now. It, it is all or nothing. You're absolutely right. Um, but as a competitor, as somebody that plays sports, you live for this moment. I mean, that's, you know, a game three of a semifinal where it's do or die. I mean, these are the games that, you know, we train for all season. It's We've been out here for 10 months. Um, you know, we've been thinking about these playoffs for a long time, and we're really happy that we were able to force a game three, and we're excited to take this momentum into the mass sport on Thursday night.